end of the day, you aren't qualified to give prostate exams. So I don't think it'll hold up in court. We live, man. Where the fuck is Matt? He went to take a shit. Matt Brown is shitting. Welcome to episode number 13 of the Farley and Michael Muli Actual Farka. Wow, you're being replacement of first letters. Oh, yeah. We're in Michael's basement. If you go into his house, take a left, and then you get to a hallway, go left again, you get to his bedroom. On the left-hand side of his bed, there's a latch. Open that up, go down the stairs, turn around, follow it straight, you get to us. Matthew- Come over. Matthew Brown is browning. Oh, yeah, he's pushing brown. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Wait, me. We had a fucked day today. Yeah, this, yeah, look, we just filmed a website video today. Oh. This is armpit hair. Oh. Oh. It's fucked, man. You you fucking, you put deep heat all over his balls. That is exquisite. Put a cigarette out on Marlos. Whoever so, sent that, like, the hottest chilies condensed down into liquid form, like, maybe a couple seasons pepper ago. Pepper sprayed his asshole. We put that on my ring today. Obviously, that'll just be for the website, which, which may as well get straight into the sponsors then. This podcast is proudly, proudly sponsored by Manscaped, first of all. And if you want a discount code, fully actual, go. Get it done. Use it. You get 20% off, okay? They're all sorts of male grooming stuff. Now, um, with these, they do your balls. Still be careful when doing your balls, okay? Still, don't be reckless because it, it yeah, can't- Yeah, I just go slow. Yeah, slow and easy, all right? Just because it's safer doesn't mean you can't still nick your balls, all right? So, just be careful while using this, all right? But some perfume? They got perfume. They got, they got all sorts of shit. Just- Ah, right on the cigarette burn. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I'm sorry. You're hurting me. Oh. And remember, yeah, they got the ball wipes. They come with undies. So, manscaped.com. Actually, this would be good. If you need any male grooming shit, head there. Use a fully actual discount code. 20% off. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. And um, what else have they got? Oh, man. All sorts of shit. Just yeah, go and have a look. Fragrance. But anyway, fragrance the other sponsor... Which is our subscription website, the University of Michael, where we post like a 30 minute vlog of our entire lives of that week onto the website, right? What's it? $7.99 US a month now for new members. But today we filmed a video what things irritate the skin the most. So we fucking put a squirted super glue into my armpit and closed my armpit. And when I tried to open it, all hell broke loose. He's got no armpit hair now. And it's all pussy and gross and it's just hurts a lot. Yeah. And like, Michael. Yeah, like my ring probably copped it the worst and my balls. So, that, so that'll be out right now while you're listening to this. And also, um, so if you want to watch it for free, just sign up and then watch it. And then if you don't want to pay, you can just unsubscribe. Yeah, we were well, told we to stop saying that, but that's the honest truth. You want to see that video? You can see it for free. Yeah. A little loophole there for you guys. It's All like right. We're good. But if you do want to sponsor the podcast and you can't afford it, because remember, the subscription website funds this podcast. All right. If you can't afford to pay a simple thumbs up or a comment, just comment the best. That's it. And then that yes, YouTube will think this is good shit. It gets people talking. I think it's the best. Our fucking last podcast, it, it got so the one from the week before in 24 hours, it's on like 400 comments. It's like that's more. A, that's more than our main channel. Yeah. So you fucking, everyone's just fucking, fucking, it's good shit. It's a good little community we're getting with this podcast. It's people small, are starting to understand us. But powerful. Yeah. It's like, there's not, we're not just two sick fucks being dickheads. We were never we're actually, that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. when we were younger, all right? Yeah, back, back, back. But in now the day. we're knowledgeable grown men and we've got people that back us. As soon as you have an army, you have an army. And that's the goal. We just want an army. Yeah. To change the world with. And you guys, fully will, actual. we will all be changing the world together. We went to Nimbin on Saturday. And my God, did we get high. There's Sucked a in, Mr. Policeman. You yeah. didn't catch us. There's the, the Mardi Gras, it's called in Nimbin on every year. We only found out about it very last minute. So, we're just like, fuck, let's go. And we went there for work reasons as well. But fuck me, it's so cool. There's just weed everywhere. Everyone's happy. There's no fight. If, if it was a fucking like a street festival with alcohol, 
There would have been brawls. There would have been bottles being thrown. Public rape. There was probably a rape. Would have 100% happened. there would have been a rape, Matt. Matt? I heard one of our friends won the bong toss. One of our good mates, Mono, threw the bong the furthest out of everyone there. We entered. We did shit. Yeah, fuck. We So yeah, embarrassing. God God damn. Fully fucked that up. And yeah, like- It's good fun. Everyone was happy. God damn it. Whoever you are, shopkeeper girl, hippie- just That's where Michael will find his wife. Next year when we go, we'll tell everyone in advance, hopefully, if we can find out beforehand, and we'll do a big, massive meet and greet there, and hopefully by then we'll have, like, our own weed line or something. Oh, and we can all get baked together and yeah, find her. it's fucking- It's a we good- find the shopkeeper It is hippie. a good fucking festival. Um, I went about eight or nine years ago, maybe even longer, maybe ten. Is that 10. how long it's been on for? Oh, it's been on for a long- Yeah, years. But, um, yeah, do people still camp there and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah have let's a, stay there for the weekend. Yeah, 100%. And they usually have a big rave towards uh, the end yeah. of the and they fucking this this massive joint came through in the parade and then they just start throwing out free joints for everyone and there's fucking cops but they it just I don't know they just don't really do anything did that happen yeah 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 cops came directly after the parade and were walking around and everyone's just sort of like what everyone's smoking up we no, all- no I don't think people were smoking in front of them but like in the some of the cafes oh and like in some of the bar there was a yeah, bar yeah well we were just smoking in the underneath the little ringworm yeah from memory do the cafes dutch up like keep all their doors shut there and was, dutch everything there up there was one that was dutch and right up brother mm-hmm. it was a good time Two. god Two. yeah it's such a beautiful place there the drive in it's very very good, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Good description. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Where were you on Saturday, by the way, cunt? Where the fuck were you? I slept in. Oh, <laughs> he could have slept in and still fucking come, cunt. He had a browning day. No, it is a long drive. Like, it's, yeah, it's a quite bit, tired. It's like an hour. No, it's, like, it's about no, two it's hour like two drive. Hours, no, no, two it's like, no, I'm saying it's like just a bit over an hour too long a drive. Yeah. Like, there's an hour left and you're like, fuck, this, it's, it's shit. Such a shit drive. We should definitely stay down there because that, that way you can be there for the afternoon and nighttime festivities and then you don't have to worry about, oh, shit, I've got to drive home. Yeah, I want to stay there for the weekend mm-hmm. next time. Even if we don't stay there, we can stay in Byron or something. But, I just yeah. want to stay uh, in a tent and just have- sounds, oh, oh. I, could, I fucking get the vibe there. We could stay at that house, the Nutcracker house that we stayed at last time with the nut field. Remember oh, that? She'll <laughs> never let us back there. We fucked up. <laughs> I, don't, I forget that house. What was it? That was one of the boys' trips. We didn't Slash. fuck it up too bad, did we? Nah, she mono lost his- is uh, Airbnb. <laughs> really? What did we, we do there? I can't even we, remember this. I think we used all their firewood. We- Left the fire burning? <laughs> yeah, we left the fire burning. Oh, that one. Is that when um when for- Flair. Yeah. Flair, Jan- Flair. Flair, Flair, Flair. Um, yeah, but fuck dad. We got- but That in- was in Nimbin, was it? That was like, it was half, like half an hour, way. half an hour Very journey close, to Nimbin. Yeah. That's so funny that we did that. We went to Nimbin uh-huh. on that trip. <laughs> it was fun. But yeah, next <laughs> year we're going to do a meet and greet at Nimbin for the Mardi Gras festival. We'll meet you all or get home. Hopefully. It's, that's if we remember this because we found out so last minute. I don't know how people find out about it. Well, it's got to, it's going to be it's this every time year. next year. Yeah. yeah, I know. But like, are we, are you going to come fucking February next year? Are you going to be like, oh, that's right. Nimbin's Mardi Gras well, is coming up. I'll Too remind much. you. I don't drink or take drugs at the moment. Good. I'll remind you. Um, okay. Also, Michael's birthday. Um, oh, wow. If you're listening to this, it has been Michael's birthday three days ago. It's Was coming it? up on Friday. Mm. I don't really oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. We're sucks. in the future. We're in the future. We're time travel. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm 31 now. Wow. <laughs> you're That's, my age now, cunt. <laughs> Shit. Fucking stab you in the chest with- Ow! <laughs> Have you sorted out your um, private health you cover? Fucking really. Hey, have you sorted out your private, private health, health cover? Yeah, I did that before 30. I didn't. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it ever. Yeah. <laughs> we run the gauntlet. Oh, <laughs> damn you fang, boy. <laughs> um, what else? There's so many things that say cunt on our desk. There's yeah. four cups, there's pens, there's Michael. 
Well, fuck, that's about all that's happened last week. We finished the fucking series. The, the last season finale, the soccer episode is out right now. I don't know how it's going to turn out because we, we haven't film filmed it, it yet. Yeah. We film it tomorrow. They forecast storms all day. We're going to go film it with Shami's little brother, Jaden, because he's a very good soccer player and literally no fucking soccer players. They're like, it's like the tennis world. Oh. Everyone's just like, oh, no, 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 you can't have fun. You can't kick a soccer ball at someone. No, that'll ruin soccer forever all over the world shut the fuck up go to god bed. we are so many like raw players and they were really keen and then like, oh sorry ask the club club said no fuck anyway. having a boss that you've got to ask anyways that's so- like management if we had management that's what it'd be like yeah if you had a producer they'd have to be an asshole manager <laughs> yeah so um we're filming that tomorrow that's out now so whatever we film tomorrow, that's out right now. So you can go and have a look at the season finale and you can finally see which sport is the scariest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We solved that one. Man, that was a big experiment. That was a lot of data collected for A that. lot of time and effort. So anyway, now we're going to get back into our old type of content. So more science experiments, pranks again. Get ready, brother. <laughs> Don't touch me. All right. And uh, yeah, so get ready for that. And who knows? We might even start pumping out two a week. Or at least back in a month. We still got that fucking reach restriction on Facebook. For a year. Makes Sorry everything so not what, fun. Five more months to go? Yeah, five months left. Fuck me. Mr. Brown, could you please pass me my vape and that bowl of green shit? Oregano. This is two episodes in a row you've asked me to do this. Sorry. Oregano. Is that going to be a thing? Yeah, maybe. I'm good with it. Yeah, so what was I saying? Um. Yeah, so basically we got heaps of data. Uh, yeah, so much data. From from that, so but we are going to do another series at the end of the year when the reach restriction is gone, because it's fucking like we're putting so much effort in and no one's seeing the videos. And I look at the analytics, and usually when you can you tell the, where videos get their views is Facebook recommends it to people, and there's like one percent of the views from recommended, so it's only getting shown to our followers. It's just really hurt my feelings. Okay, sorry. It's just really hurt my feelings. Yeah, man, don't let it get to you. All right. He's like. Instagram, end of the day. Instagram only gives reach to reels. So when we post our long form, even on Instagram, no one sees it now. So it's literally YouTube wants the YouTube shorts. So everyone's like trying to compete with TikTok. That's what's fucking going on in the social media world, by the way, for those who don't know. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all trying to compete with TikTok and it's fucked us. Yeah, everything's constantly changing in the world. Everyone's like, just loves that short attention span, that fucking quick hit. So that's what we're going to get into more. So we have to. Got to play. Should, we we lo- up, should we upload the podcast to TikTok in one minute? Yeah, we should fast yeah. forward it. <laughs> so it's fucking 58 seconds long. <laughs> Imagine the fast. <laughs> What we should do is get all of the fart sounds, put them together, and then speed them up to 10 times as fast. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Sabrina's already fucking put half of them together or one like oh. little video of them. It's just a constant <laughs> fart from me. I Very entertaining. I haven't had any gas today. Yeah, yeah I, you unleashed it in one episode. I thought you were going to pull it out then. All right, let's fucking get on with the on this day's Matthew fucking Brown cunt. Woo! He's fucking done this research and he's fucking come up trumps. Oh, I'm excited. I hope there's a bloody diary entry I've in there. A su- I've got a suggestion after this on this day, so we'll su- just bear with me. All right, oh, anyway. I don't like the sound of that. Some of this before you do it? No. Okay. On this day in 1939, Tasmanians started fucking their siblings. On this day (laughs) in 2011, (laughs) Katy Perry kicked a horse in the skull after the horse threw her off during a ride. Katy promised herself there and then that she would never ever trust another creature ever again. Now she lives in complete isolation in a forest. Maybe. On this day, in 1985, Michael Jackson kissed six 14-year-old boys with tongue. The kisses were said to have been so passionate that the six boys spent their whole lives spreading love and joy. Love and joy is what they named their ass cheeks. So, it's sort of doing that, a bad created a good. Well, they were spreading their ass cheeks for the rest of their lives. So, I guess that's good. Okay. Okay. 
Depends what you're into. Yeah, okay. It's yeah, good, it's so good for Michael Jackson. It could be good for him now. Who? The kid. It's good for Jeffrey. Full of cum. By the way, remember that website video we were talking about earlier? That jar of cum that someone sent in? Michael oh. wanted to see if it irritates the skin, so he poured it into his hand, oh. rubbed it onto his arm, and the smell drove all of us out of this house. It was like off fish food. It was off calamari. It was seafood that's been <laughs> not in the sea. Oh, man. It was fucked. It was so bad, Bit dude. of piss smell. It was yeah, just it, not it, right. It was, it was like a chick that's- Shit. That you've been having sex with. She's pissed, but hasn't wiped. Come back, force you to go down there, and you just taste like an off urine sex weird taste thing. And she hasn't washed for three months. She's just been lying in a humid room. Yeah, because you can't do that from one piss. So, she, this was bad. She's basically pickled. I got a question. <laughs> What was worse when we got sent the shit or the smell of that cum? The shit, because yeah, the, the shit shit's lasted for what? That was like six hours. Like my, <laughs> my girlfriend at the time was, she was not happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit was pretty sick. She that was, was so angry at me for that. <laughs> for so long. I was so like, if people feel free to send more shit and come in, by the way. It's really. <laughs> no. Uh, but shit, come on to it. Vomit. Because I've not had no cum. We haven't had no vomit poo. and we haven't had piss. We will smell them if you send them in. Live. I don't, oh, I don't have a poo ready, by the way. What would piss smell like? Probably close, to, fucked, wouldn't close it? to piss. Close to piss. piss, I think. Piss smells shit straight away. I see what you're doing. I you're love f- shitting and then pissing <laughs> on my shit. He's trying to distract us from oh. from uh, this little he's diary being- entry that snuck its way in. Oh. Is that what you- Yeah, he's trying to little- dist- He's thrown a little smoke bomb in, has he? Well, do- I've- I remember this, Matthew Brown. I read this diary entry this morning and I s- you emailed it to me. So, I know that you want people to know about this. All right? He's looking- Matt weird. Brown wants everyone to know who he really is. And this is his way of, of showing his true personality <laughs> off camera. Okay? This is who Matt Brown is really on this day in 2015. Diary entry number 1009 from Matthew Gregory Brown. A cool winter's day had me rugged up and feeling great. I was doing my usual rounds of the female bathrooms at the gym when I came across quite a rare find. A hairbrush had been left unattended and had a ball of mangled hair still attached. I could tell from the shade of blonde that it belonged to a girl I'd been observing for over two years. I picked it up and smelt it to confirm. It was her. I furiously started plucking the hair out and popping it into my mouth. By the time I finished, I had an entire mouthful of her hair and my little brown started to stir. Suddenly, from behind me, I hear, This is the girl's bathroom. I freeze. My mouth is completely stuffed with hair. Is that my hairbrush? Oh no, it's her. I can't let her know how deeply obsessed I am with her and I attempt to swallow the mouthful of hair. With my back still facing her, I tilt my head back and swallow with all my might. The hairball gets stuck halfway down my throat. I use my fingers to stuff the hair down further and finally I manage to swallow it. I finally turn to face her and my body is tingling with anticipation. Oh sorry, I thought this was the men's bathroom. I could see from her disgusted face that she did not believe me. Her face grew from disgusted to shocked and scared when she saw stray hairs caught in between my teeth and on my tongue. There was a very awkward silence but I was now so excited that my nipples started lactating. Sorry, is this your brush? I asked nervously. Yeah, she said as she started backing out of the bathroom. I'm now rock hard and I take my chance. Do you want to get a ham sandwich with me sometime? I saw her glimpse down on my crutch that where my pulsing erection was getting close to releasing. I've got a boyfriend. She mumbled as she turned and ran out of the bathroom. She's playing games with me, I said loudly to myself. I knew she didn't have a boyfriend. I knew everything about her. I smiled as ejaculate dribbled from my little brown. I like games. I thought to myself as I walked out of the woman's bathroom and went home to search through my feces for her hair. This is a game I will not lose. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! He's finally made the move and, and actually asked her out at least. <laughs> <Sam Wee. laughs> 
that's the shittest sentence to ask a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. Fucked up, man. That guy's fucking twisted. I like man. though. I'm using you that in future. <laughs> um, the suggestion. Uh, I can tell. I, I, everyone can tell that your heart and soul's not really in the on these days anymore. So what if we just turn on this day into um, diary entry from Matthew Brown? So we've had it since the beginning. Let us know if you want to continue with Matt's shit half-assed fucking dozen fucking what? Three hours before we're due to start, he'll come in and research for three hours rather than his usual, what, 24 hours? Or do you just want one beautiful diary entry from Matthew Gregory Brown? cut the workload. <laughs> So we've done all the diary entries, all that work's done. I don't want them on there. I'm just going to say that. But I am thinking of the fans and it would allow a few more questions to get answered. All right. Because we'll have more time. All right, we'll, leave it, we'll leave it to the fans. <laughs> fans, do you want on this day to continue or do you want just the diary entry to take its place? Just for this season. Yeah. I well, can't deal with it. Things can come back. Well, there, you do have a lot of diary entries. Over a thousand, I saw. So that's like it's a lot of episodes of a lot of you know. And someone puts them all together. You've got a book. You've have got, sex with me, you've got Matthew. Your diary out there in the public for the world to see. Have sex, sex with, with me, me, Matthew. Sex. sex. Do you understand that, Matt? Sex. Mm, you little fucking freaky fucker, huh? Why don't you go search around the bathroom for some fucking loose hair, Matthew? I actually Brown? just pulled out. All of my hair from my hairbrush. There you go. Is your little brown tingling now? It huh? was. There is weird shit in it. Like, it's like, I don't want to go into it. Sorry. It's, it's best fine. left alone. Yeah. All right. Next. next start start bit, oh, no, 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 question time. That was fucked up. Diary entry, Matthew. That was, that was heavy shit. You swallowed a whole mouthful of hair. That's dangerous. Mind you, though, think about your dream girl. You'd probably do it, boy. Too. Well, <laughs> so I get it. He he's he's running two his years, fantasy. Two years, like checking out one girl, observing. Her. I'd probably if I couldn't do anything after two years, I'd probably eat her hair too. All right, so you two are the same. I'm, I'm getting it. I you get two the are the same. Maybe we need to sympathise. Do you have a diary? Why don't we start? No, nah, I actually thing? cut mine up. After this shit started happening. Oh, yeah. I actually picked up those scraps on. I've got them at home. I put them in the fire. There's a fire. Oh, well, I've got some. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should contact Michael's mum. See if she has his high school diary. She is my diary. She's a fucking real person diary. She's seen some shit. You, you got to breastfeed. Maybe on. you could have phone calls with you my mum. You got to breastfeed on those, those breasts. <laughs> Your mother's breasts? I think I don't think I did. You got to suck on them. Yes, you did. You got to suck on yours. No, that's not a thing in Germany. Germans <laughs> don't breastfeed. Sorry. What do they do? Well, how do you grow? Warm water with salt. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so, that sounds fucking very. That sounds true. Yeah. So, uh, milk. Yeah, dairy's no good, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question is from Kyle Andrews. Um, only included this one. We even know we've answered it already, but a lot of people keep asking is, what is Toka? Ooh. Can you please explain again? Well, sorry, dude. I didn't mean to turn that off. Fuck, no. don't touch me. Uh, Toka is a game invented by us. It, in, it, it puts together the sports soccer, tennis, and volleyball. It's We're not going to explain the rules. There are far too many, but it's, it's a fucking highly, highly controversial game, and it's changing the world. We started out with a group of six friends. It's grown to 12. Okay. It's fucking addictive. We play it every week. And yes, we will start live streaming it soon. So for anyone wondering what it is, follow us on Instagram, turn on post notifications because we're going to start live streaming it. Maybe well, even this night. week. Tomorrow night we play Toka. So let's do it tomorrow night. Done. To Whoa. They fuck. won't even know about this. Yeah, so this when you it hear already it, happened. When you hear it, us saying this. So why don't we just start live streaming next week then? Because they're yeah, not going to know. Go next week. So next, so just fucking. Could be Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. No, it is Wednesdays now because Tuesdays are too late. Because fucking, fucking, fucking Greg. Oh, fucking, fucking Greg. Greg. Yeah. Next question so, is. For, in uh, two seats time, time, we will go live have, on Instagram. Toka. So Wednesday. Go. 
Next question is from Andreas. Oh, um, yeah. um, can you guys take a? Would you guys take a laxative at the beginning of the podcast and hold it to the end, or yeah. bust halfway through? Uh, we've done it. We've we've take we've it done laxatives. Hours. Yeah, they they literally take hours, and they're not that effective. Like we took what three times a dose. I and, think no more than that. And it was like it was an explosive shit when it happened. But like I probably could have held it on for even longer. It was it was just it's just an annoying, uncomfortable pain. So um next question is from Bridgewater's finest. <laughs> um question for the podcast. Um of all the nut shots you guys have taken on camera, do you remember which one hurt the most? For some reason, I feel like it would be the exploding watermelon with the elastic bands. No, there was I got you one with egg. Egg, yeah. There was I a knew fucking it. egg that Marty threw and it literally hit just the <laughs> ball perfectly. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, and it was like, you know, you got half an hour until you can stand on those. Like they're so yeah, his testicles, he were very sore, huh? And even after we stopped filming, like because it was just for one of them prank compilation vids, I just ran out and pegged an egg at him, got him right in the dick, and then I just went inside, and he was just out there moaning and rolling about for fifteen minutes or so. <laughs> Won't you fry? Won't you fry? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Yuck! Not so sensual with the fucking rub. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get it done. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brush me off. <laughs> Clean me. All right, next one. Next question is from Jack. Um, will you guys ever go back to doing pranks at universities, particularly acting paranoid and being followed and all that? Type yeah, of Julian stuff? noticed. Julian, I thought, what? How did Julian bring that up the other day? Oh, he went to UQ or something and saw that uh, the people type of people there and was like we need to film pranks at UQ and we said yeah dude we know but we've got a lifetime ban from all of I'm the I'm pretty sure that's finished now and, but like no, I don't even if it's not fuck I don't it. care anymore we're going back to we're going to start filming pranks at universities again because fuck <laughs> it like worst case scenario we get a trespassing fine public <laughs> nuisance it's, it's our house too 100% it's our house man <clears throat> we all build that <laughs> I got a tickle in my throat. Yeah, I'm getting sick, man. I'm getting sick, everyone. But yeah, we're going home. We're going home soon. So, yeah, expect them to return soon. Next question is from John uh, Dandria. You're cleaner. John. Yeah, John. Um, Marty, are you still into cows? Because you haven't spoken about them in a while. Yeah, of course I am. I'm still very sexually attracted to cows, but... Look, honestly, the time at night where I'm usually out hunting and stalking has been used to um, sleep and rest at the moment. Like, I haven't... God. You haven't let a load off? I, 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 haven't, I haven't attacked in close to 10 weeks, I think. Yeah, well, it's a series. It's the series we're filming. And it's then so before then was a, was a big break as well. So, this year, it's really been very minimal sort of ripping and... You're going to have to go stay at like an Airbnb farm stay soon. Maybe I'm healing mentally. The part of me that is... Yeah, the, what, you don't reckon you could kill and fuck a cow? Again? Right now, of course I still could, but I'm just wondering why my blood for, thirst for their beefy cum has stopped. Well, what you would you rather eat one right now or fuck it? Fuck it, for sure. I don't, I don't care for meat. I don't care for steaks. Okay. Well, fuck, man. You sound like you're still just the same you were. You just haven't had time to do it. So, make time for it, mate. You're right. I'll do that. I'll, I'll go back to my hobby. Make time to mate with cow. Mate! Next question is from Brad Silver. Um, oh, fuck. When you guys go into extreme pain, so when you get hurt badly, do you instantly crave anything? He gives an example that he craves orange juice whenever he's in large amounts of pain. No, that's never happened. I get, I can feel my body getting stressed when it's in a lot of pain. Like today, the armpit thing, running around. Yeah, Marty, literally for half an hour, was trying to sort out his armpit. That's rough. That's rough. Half an hour of just agonizing fucking Like have pain. a tug on your armpit hair. Just have a tug at home and just imagine someone saying to you, right, you got to rip all of your armpit hair out right now. And that's what it was for that half hour. Yeah, that sounds like shit. Because <laughs> your, your, the skin in your armpit is very like elastic. So, oh. it comes out a long way. 
Yeah. Like I was like pulling my fucking skin out to like here. You can stretch it out. Yeah, you can stretch it. I and mean, that's not good. You want it taut and flat so it rips off easier. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it was a rough day. Do you crave anything? Man? Oh, I need to run. As soon as some pain happens. Yeah, enjoy the, the running. The running does help. The running, uh, I've I've started doing uh, not uh, as big a runs, but it, it takes your mind off it. And it's just like, it's like you're running away from the pain. Yeah. Because if you are still, wherever your sensations, your nervous system's bringing your sensations, your awareness to, that's going to be fucking multiplied by ringworm. But if you're moving, you're, you're distracting yourself by running, your legs are moving, the impact of the ground, you've got more things to see because you're not just sitting down in that same spot. It distracts you. It's it fully, distracts you from the pain. It's worth it, man. So, like, even I've done it when with, like, say, breakups or when my, when, oh, my parents never got divorced. Well, sometimes after breakups, when you know the girl Michael, would come down, down to get up and I would it. sprint. Even I wouldn't even open the door. <laughs> I go straight through the door, and off he went into the fields. <laughs> and he would Imagine run for that. days and as days. Soon as, as soon as the girl fucking breaks up with you, you just you run just until you're over it. <laughs> yeah, around in circles, and then you come back to meet her a week later, covered in sweat, and you say, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> And she's already with another guy. Oh, and then, then you have to go running, running again. Running. Off you go, mate. Yeah. <laughs> she's with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Next so question is from Juicy Fruit. Um, if you were reborn in another body and knew what you know now, would you prefer to date a girl who does or doesn't watch your fully actual? I pr- always prefer to date someone who watches the fully actual. Well, she's going to find out who you are eventually. Yeah, if it's something serious, she's going to know anyway. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I understand what you're saying. This podcast is like, like I pray to God uh, that certain people in my life never, ever listen to any of these podcasts. Yeah, my mum mentioned she fucking- Oh, dude. Day. Yeah, that is so hot that your mum is watching me. Oh, dude, this and is you. painful. Whatever this shit is on my <laughs> He woke up with it. He woke up with it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please tell me. (gasps) Did that do it? (gasps) Michael is is waxing his eyebrows right now. He's got some sort of substance on his face, some white sticky substance. Did that wax your eyebrows? No. Fuck it. Let's just move on. (laughs) No, it's still hair there, mate. Wait, I'm I'm worried now. Is there... Have we said something bad? (laughs) Again. (laughs) Connor, it, our careers lay in your fucking hands. <laughs> Next question is from Jack M. Um, Marty, how did you lure your girlfriend into your lair? With my haircut. I had that 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 old man haircut. That's crazy that I had that haircut when I- You would have been fucking- Oh, imagine oh, having she, that on top of you. She was, she was working at a cafe. I hadn't seen her for like balding. seven years. I had a hat on. I gave her some money. And then we went out and the rest is history. Okay. I don't, yeah. God, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking razzled, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> What's razzled mean? I don't know. It sounds good though. Fuck me. Next question. Right, cut all that fucking <laughs> shit, dude. Cut that cunt out. Like all that chat about trying to cancel us. All the cancel talk cut. <laughs> Now well, leave that in. leave that in though. Michael saying cut all that. Uh, yeah. No, no, because I was saying all the cancel talk. Yeah, that's good. No. I liked it. <laughs> We're confusing Connor now. <laughs> Come in now after all there's the cancel talk. Of, now a lot of funny shit that was said that we just had to cut though. Well, there's probably a lot of it that we haven't cut. It depends on Connor. We've said this. All right, Connor. You know, if you, if you think fuck it, let's do this. I'm standing right by your side and my hand is on your little curly hair and I ran it through and I turn your head to me and I say, I nod. And then you know what I mean. I'm just like- Then what? Well, yeah. You know, I forcibly put myself on him. 
Holy fuck. What <laughs> sorry, a fucking world. Sorry, Connor. Fuck, we better give him a message after this. Just give him a heads up. That's <laughs> messy fucking dog shit that we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We've we gotten into ourselves into a backed ourselves into a corner and it turned oh. into a cock fight. <laughs> We're gonna leave that in. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, next. Fuck next Dad. question is from Holly Gray. Um, has any friends or family come over and played the recorder, not knowing what it has been used for? No, no. I'm hoping for that to happen though. That's it. Yeah, it sits here on the table, and every time someone comes in, oh, well, you bought a new recorder. Can you play anything? Yeah. First thing we say, especially to like. All the little interns that come through. So many little, little interns. They're very young. Mm. Uh, question for the podcast from James McGuinness. Um, please, uh, sorry, uh, would you ever do an episode where Marty acts like Michael and Michael acts like Marty? Wouldn't do a whole episode, but we can do an impersonation. Oh, what do you fucking do? That- Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No! Don't- no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, he's gotten all grumpy. Oh. Dude, you just, it's too much. You can't just concentrate the on the. Don't touch me! Trussy! <laughs> oh, very good. Everyone did well, man. Everyone had a good time. What would Matt's uh, impersonation of Matt be? Mm, I watched her take a seat in the bathroom. How many times have you legends got arrested and spent the night in lockup? How many times? Just count them out. Um, you got more than me, I think. You got. Yeah, you've got done lock up. I've done lock up overnight once. Gone to lock up three times, and I've been arrested. I've done lock up overnight uh, twice, oh, and and count AFL as well. Because we had oh, to go yeah. lock up briefly. I've been arrested twice. Three times, I think, actually. I think I've been arrested uh, four or five times and done lock up twice, including in France, the Paris brawl. Fuck, yeah. I've been arrested like four times, lock up three times, like overnight twice. Like that's fully getting arrested and taken to the police station. So, yeah, maybe like five, five or six times and two beautiful nights in locker. Yeah, three or four times for me. Two or three one I've had two nights overnight in lockup. by the way fucking loving all these comments that we're seeing um, keep them coming Michael and I go through and we fucking read them all I was lying in bed last night having a read you f- there's fucking there's some good shit in the comments keep them coming alright we enjoy the support yeah it's fucking we, it we get more comments on the podcast motivated. now than we do most of the time on the main channel that's fucked, fucked up, up. We've got like 830k subscribers on the main and like 20k on the YouTube. Same amount of comments. Maybe That's our main's up. just shit. Maybe because we um work hard on the. That is so the, true, um, Matthew. Integration. <coughs> that is so true, Matthew. Wow. Next segment. <laughs> Now, we opened it to you guys last week, and we wanted some suggestions for the hunt. And boy, oh boy, did we get some. Matthew, let's let's decide today what we're going to do for the hunt. Okay. This is my suggestion. Now, I don't know if many people know this guy, but I think it's- I don't know. It got me- got Intrigued. Me Shut up! Everyone, fuck off! Oh, you fuck don't me. even look at me, mate. Yeah, I won't do that. Don't fucking look at me. Matt, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> Focus, focus, oh on, focus on making it laugh. Oh man, it stinks! <laughs> oh, I had to push hard at the end, I could feel it failing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a strain on the ticker. That's a strain on the old heart. Why does it hurt your heart? Oh, I push as hard as I can, my Matthew, <laughs> to build the more pressure, my Matthew. Wow. The more pressure, the tighter the result, the more interesting the sound, the more smiling I see. Oh, man. That really, really hurt. Oh, look at his rope over his eye. Oh, 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 oh shit, man. It's like having a cigarette after sex. That's what I'm, <laughs> I'm having a vape after fart. <laughs> <laughs> My fart art. My fart. Oh. 
Fucking hell. Should I bang out the um the options given to us? Yes. All right, I'll be real quick and just see what, what happens. What floats our boat. All right, first one is from Kone Gardner, I think, Kone. Um, yeah. The Mark Hunt for the hunt. Who is Mark Hunt? He's a Mark UFC Hunt's a former fighter. UFC fighter, yeah. recently boxed Mark Paul Gallant. Yeah, right? and what, what could we get him to do maybe if we could get him to punch something? What about hunt something? Like a mouse in his house. <laughs> get him to fucking sprint after a little fucking mouse in his house, cunt. <laughs> Just fucking running around, cunt. <laughs> All right, keep it in mind. We'll keep going. Um, Sarah Iron suggested Woody and Kleine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked to them on social media. We'll um, see if they're actually brothers. Video. <laughs> um, other one from Da Flo. Um he said, try and get Roger Federer. <laughs> Good luck. Um, Lake McBogan suggested Dave Hughes because he's quite active on Instagram. Is he? Oh, Who is he? Apparently. Let's have a look. Eh? Two people sent that in saying that he was active. Dave Hughes. Yeah, keep going. Um, Toad Flicker suggested Daniel Johns from Silverchair. Ask him if he's okay. I don't mind that one. <laughs> if he's okay he's, he's quite, okay, a, he's quite or, active on social media isn't he posts today yesterday three days ago five um, days ago alright fuck me Husey alright I'm gonna right, follow Husey's, him right now Husey's number one at the moment I guess then um, as suggested Nick Kyrgios for the hunt um, Al Pal uh, suggested Chappelle Corby to prove her innocence to you <laughs> Oh, Chappelle Corby. I'm going to see what she's- oh, That's not yeah. a bad idea and she's see, in the limelight with- See if we can get oh, it. No, we'll find out if her sister is really a car or a human. Or we could we could get her to- That s- fucking Mercedes bitch, we could man. Get her to s- <laughs> we could get her to smuggle drugs to us domestically. See if she can still do it. See yeah. She- Are you good at drugs? Yeah, yeah see if she can, com- nah, see she'll if she go, can complete it. She'll go nowhere near that, but the Mercedes thing is fucking Because that always good. fucking- I never understood why the fuck they called her Mercedes. Because yeah. I thought it was a spell chick. It? No, I, I like- No, we can't go drugs because yeah, she will absolutely drugs. avoid that. I think you're right. Is your sister a car or a human? Because <laughs> her name's Mercedes. <laughs> Well, why did they call her that if she's human? Yeah, no, it's so I she agree. must be a fucking car. Well, we don't know for sure that it's actually a sister. It could be a car. Yeah, I know. That's what I. That's what we. Yeah. That's but what is she what? So our, our, we could go to her and say, "Hey, can you let us know if your sister's a car?" <laughs> <laughs> and then we wait for a video to her to say, "No, she's not a car." <laughs> we give that a go. Well, okay. Well, let's so do that as well as Dave Hughes. something Hughes. Yeah. So we- then we got two going, so because that's probably going to fail. Okay. Yeah, I can't see Chappelle <laughs> wanting anything to do with us. <laughs> Dave Hughes also probably doesn't want anything to do with us, but you know. Although we did see him at a cafe once, and you said hello, so he might remember you. Oh yeah. Um, there are a couple other suggestions. I'll quickly get through them. Um, Fly by night suggested uh, get Boyd Corner to face swap with Marty. <laughs> we have the same face. Um. Who else? I've got uh, Al Pal suggests oh, this Chappelle already. Um, Dixon uh, said you should try for either Maddie Johns or Fletch or Heine. Heine? Hindi? Hindi? Oh, Nathan Hornmarsh. Heine? Sorry. Uh, cut that, Connor. Um, the last one is from Marina. Um, Chris Lilly. <coughs> Chris <coughs> Lilly. <coughs> fuck, that would be awesome. Because he's a bit out of the limelight at the moment because of he got cancelled, but you could he, probably bring yeah, him back. He got some- fucking cancelled. Yeah, See what I mean? Dude. He's a fucking genius and he got cancelled. And yeah. we are not geniuses saying some outrageous things. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's all good in the hood. Yeah, something like that. That should hold up in court. (laughs) Your honor. (laughs) I reckon it's out of Dave Hughes and Chappelle. Comment which one you reckon it should be. All right. Um, Yeah. Yeah. And what should we do with Dave Hughes? Like you guys can come up with, and even Chappelle Corby, what do you reckon we should do with her? There might be something better than finding out if her sister is just a car or a human. I might even comment on the Marty on the podcast when it comes out as Marty and Michael and write um, Dave or Chappelle and then whatever amount of comments. It oh gets. yeah, because you commented recently and there was a lot of traction from that. All right, so, so votes on that ringworm there. So yeah. look comment. look for that comment yep. and then you can vote. 
All right. <sighs> Fuck me. It's at least we, we've got something, a skeleton happening. Yeah, I'm glad Dave Hughes is on social media. That could be a good little in there. I don't know what we would do to him. Hughesy loses it. Yeah, that's a bit old. Just ask Dave, is it Dave Hughes or is it David Hughes? Just ask him, is it Dave or David? Anyway, moving on, next segment. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. And this is a segment where we uh, read normal German phrases, Matt. Normal German phrases. Very normal. And I speak them and I say them as if I'm speaking to a fellow German. Oh, before you start, um, one of our kind German uh, audience members commented and said uh, he thinks sometimes you get the A and the A with the dots on top mixed up. <coughs> Do you know what they mean? Yeah, that's a different sound. I don't. Yeah. Look, I was three when I left. I didn't really learn how to read or write, so it's quite. Um, he said, other than that, you do well. All right. Alice in butter. Alice in butter. <laughs> Alice in butter. 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 <laughs> Which means. Everything in butter, which means everything is okay. Okay or okay? Okay. Alice in butter means everything. Alice! Alice! Watch my tongue. Watch my fucking tongue when I say it. Alice in butter! Alice in butter! Let your tongue go to the back of your throat, almost scraping your tonsils. Alice in butter! <laughs> Alice in butter! Butter! <laughs> butter! <laughs> now you starting to sound German. <sighs> That's hard work. <laughs> All right. Don't wreck Nikki's cards. You fucked me. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> Alright, next phrase Cut all that silence, Connor Or bleep it, whichever you prefer <laughs> I have no idea what's happening at this stage I have no idea what this podcast is anymore <laughs> Das ist der springende Punkt Das ist der springende Punkt 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 Punked, which means that is the jumping point, which means that's the point. Oh, man, shit. just say it. Oh, punked is point. Punked, punked, you fucking freak. Watch my mouth. One, two, three. Punked. 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 Oh, fuck. Last one. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> fuck me. This is a tongue twister and a half. My little German. Here we go. Last one. Spiel nicht die beleidigte Leberwurst. That's sort of hot. Spiel nicht die de Beleid... Beleid... Beleidigte? Beleidigte? Leberwurst. Leberwurst. Yeah, the ending ruins it. No, the, the ending is what saves it. Thank you. A delicious treat. Yeah, it sounds like liver. Leberwurst. Yeah, it's liver sausage. See, that's fucked up. Leber... It's delicious. Have it... Spread it on some rye with mustard. What's it called? Leberwurst. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, you, you're winning me. You're Leber, winning me. Leberwurst. You're winning me over. Spiel nicht die, die beleidigte Leberwurst. Yeah, I could see that. That, that, that sort of beleidigte is, a, mean, is offended, and I don't know the word for offended. So, I'm just trying to read that word. Beleidigte. Which means don't play the offended liver sausage. Don't play the offended liver sausage. <laughs> and don't, Which means don't be in a half. Don't be in a huff. Don't be in a half. Does that say half? Um, I think. Don't be in a half, man. I think it's half. So if you want to tell someone, hey, don't be in a half, <laughs> and you're in Germany, you say, Spiel nicht die beledigte Leberwurst. What's that mean? What's it mean? Don't play the offended liver sausage. Why? <laughs> don't Holy do it. Shit, Just don't dude. fucking do it. Leave the offended liver sausage. Don't play with it. <laughs> 
Oh. It's not even... It's sort of... That's fucking really quite ironic with what's going on in the world at the moment. The offended Levavost. Go fucking leave him alone. Yeah, just leave the offended Le- Levavost. <laughs> Levavost. Oh, Levavost. <laughs> this is really cute. I like Liverpool. Liverpool. Very- <laughs> I'm coming round to Germany a bit. <laughs> We're up to PO box. Oh, I forgot all about a PO box. My it's on the floor there, I think. All right, next segment, we got the PO unboxing where we open shit that you fuckers have sent us. Here's our PO box right there, Michael. It is... Two five, PO box 256, Tagum 4018, Queensland. Uh, so if you have anything you want to promote or you want to send some cool shit or some disgusting shit, we get sent cum and shit. Send it our way and we'll open it live on the podcast. <laughs> like this, what the fuck's this going to be? Hopefully it's not a used pad. Oh. <laughs> Hold it up to the light. You can sort of yeah, see that something's, going on something's in there. Oh, man. wait, it looks like drugs. Oh, actually, it feels a bit like a pill there. It's exciting. It's an exciting Should revelation. Should we save that one for last? No, open it right now. Very cool. I have here some horror shock pop eyes. I will now wear Just them. Just what we ordered. Yes, they're little glasses, right? Oh, this is good. This is a great present, whoever sent this. Thank you. Fucking thank you. I think I got sent an earring. A cheese earring. It's a slice of a cheese. I hate it. <laughs> oh, you look sort of cute. Yeah, he does actually. Oh, I'm she now wearing creepy. the the eyes, the crazy eyes. Let me put my fucking headphones back on. There we go. Everything's ready. Ow. Everything's all complete. All right, no letters, nothing. Just some fucking. What do you? What you get? Cheese. I got a cheese earring. Oh yeah. There's shit so far. I no, hate no. These. What are you talking? This is pretty good. <laughs> I don't mind it. Honestly, I don't mind it at all. Okay. All right. That was Sorry. shit. Your, yeah. Yours was fucking shit. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it was the same person. So that person's like even. Yeah. It's like, it's it's- like they said nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My to del- deliver to Marty and Michael, aka Bosley's slaves. So true. What do we got here, eh? We got a fucking little pillows. A gift for you. To Sir Bosley, who is truly the best. Nala, my dog, and I hope you're feeling better and can get back to helping from scientists with their research. From Jamie Lee and Nala. Well, fucking, that's for Bosley. He's going to tear this to pieces. Oh, he's going to love this. This will last like That's so good. This will last fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bozzy will fucking love these. That's really nice. That's the best that's the present of the day. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a present for Bosley. That was very beautiful. Having said that, send us some cum and shit, please. <laughs> uh, uh, I just put all the rubbish back in the science box. It's, uh, it's Christmas over. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't we should call that segment Christmas. I'm putting a hair in there. Yeah. And there's fucking fucking here. No! Don't. Don't, don't, What, don't. you want me to put my armpit hair in there? Yeah, I don't want it around me. Look at that. Look how matted that is. Man. Put it on the podcast table. Yeah, right. Yeah, on actually. On the cow somewhere. We can keep it. Maybe I'll put it on the tee there. So we're going to go straight to the fucking prank call, right? And I'm going to fucking call. Do you want to try this guy first? Yeah, right. I'm sort of got my heart set on calling this therapist, actually. I might call them first. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a therapist here in Brisbane. And as soon as they answer, I'm going to start spilling out my problems to the receptionist. That's the joke. How can I help you today? Yeah, so um, my name's um, Darren and um, like I've just been going through a bit of a rough patch and like 
I keep like getting um like um anxiety in that and like it stops me um sleeping and that. And I was thinking like um the other day, I think it's cause like when I was younger and that um I saw like a uh, big old uh, big car crash like just right in front of me. And um what what happened was right, this um chick driving, she had like um a couple of babies in the back seat and um she like full like just uh, rear-ended some some other guy on a ute right and the babies they were all right like they they've fallen after but um i think just like the shock um of seeing the babies like shake around quickly like in their seats has just sort of um like it's just sort of like come up in my mind at sometimes and um yeah it's just made me feel like um like 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 i get like angry and that like I'll, I'll i'll lash out like the family dog and that and like I I do lots of drawing and that and I've been drawing like like just not nice things like I've been tempted to draw like fire and like um there's like what did I do the other day I did like um what was it like a yeah like a naked lady right and she had like um like a cancer on her and that so just not nice stuff do you know what I mean so I was just wondering um like if you can help me with that Okay, yep, I might have a psychologist that can help you. Um, so what was your last name? Darren Thompson. And, like, yeah, like, there's been other stuff too. Like, um, obviously, like, I've been, um, you know, doing drugs and that on and off um, through, like, my 20s and um, sort of late 20s there. But um, I was, used to be fine. Like, I'd pull up the next day and be saying sweet, you know, buddy back on it. But these days it's like... It's like I'll have like a couple of bottles of like Jim Beam or something and then the next day I'm like, it's just fucking, it's, I'm just in fucking pain. Like it's just bloody like torture, you know what I mean? Like, and it never okay. used to be like that. So I'm saying like I think like that 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 chick rear-ending that car with her kids in the back is like starting to like come out or something, you know what I mean? Like it's just I can't explain it proper, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what was your date of birth? Yes, I'm a date of birth, 13th of the 9th, yep. 1987. Okay. And just your email address? So my email is darren.thompson. Is that Thompson, T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N? T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N, yeah, that's it, mate. Yep. Underscore yep. 69, under, yep. underscore legend, L E G. L E N D yep. at hotmail.com. Okay. And just your mobile number? Yeah, sure. My mobile number is 0404 yep. 2169 yep. 69. Okay. And um, would you say that um, you're struggling with any addictions at the moment? I don't know if it's like like addiction and that, but um, like I, I do like to get on it. You know what I mean? Like come Friday, Friday night, Saturday night. Like I'm usually on it, but like I'm not like I'm not like dying for it. Do you know what I mean? But it's just hard to get up in the mornings now. Like I'll have, I'll get on it, and then the next day I'm like bloody like f- fucking like just lying flat in that, feeling sick. You know, I'll have like, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll feel like nausea or something. Like, that. like, and I've just had like, you know, a bottle of, bottle of Jim Beam, whatever. But like, I used to get through them, no worries at all. But I, f- I think because I'm like suppressing that, that where I witnessed that car accident, and those kids were like full, like, like shaking, you know, like they were like, like massive whiplash. Like, what their little one was like, bloody, like maybe a year old, and it's just little heads just went fucking pop. It's fucking like. It's fucking crazy to see. Yeah. It's crazy. They're fine. They're completely fine. Like not a scratch on them and that. But like it's just like it's just shocking. You don't you don't you don't plan yeah. to see a baby's head move like that. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just not in your yeah. mind. And then when you see it, it's like fucking hell. Like jeez, it's fucking it's intense. You know what I mean? Do, do, do you um? Because our psychologist Gerhard, he's got some available next Wednesday. He's got an eight thirty or an eleven a.m. What about you? What when? What times you available, darling? Because I feel like, like I don't, I don't know, like I'm not like weirdo or nothing, but I feel like we've got a bit of a um, connection going. And I wouldn't mind maybe just sitting down and having a chat with you and sort of just laying all my cards out on the table and telling you all about like my childhood and that, which wasn't too bad. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't my childhood. 
not too bad. Two very loving parents. One of them was a priest, right? One was a nurse. Like before, went to like public school and that. Like had a pretty good life, you know. So, other than that car crash, there's not too much I can think of. Yeah. Um, well, I'm I'm just a receptionist, so I mean, we can book in with one of the psychologists. Oh, did I call the wrong number? Did I? I thought I called the um, psychologist in the city there. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, so I can book in with one of the um, psychologists. So, so you aren't available. You can't. You can't do any of the uh, interrogations. No, I just take the phone. I just take the phone calls. Yeah, and um, so I wrote, wrote everything down and then pass it on to. The right, 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 right. Next Wednesday. Yeah, right. All right. Well, um, like, what do you reckon? Like, um, what do you reckon they're gonna say? Like, when I tell them this, because like, I don't want to like book in and then have them say like, oh, there's nothing wrong with you, mate. Like, harden up no, or something. No, they wouldn't say that. They wouldn't say that. They'd um they'd talk to you about different things that you could do, or um, maybe you just need to talk to someone professional and just have them sort of listen to you and everything. Or maybe um, like I was thinking like, what if I go like just hang out with other babies? Like if I go like maybe a daycare center or something, just be around them again. Like see them, see them yeah. when their heads aren't doing that, like that flick thing that it did, and just be around yeah, them possibly. and just and like and just hold one maybe. Like I could hold one and like just like cradle and that just to show me like that their heads don't always move like that you know it's real sick yeah yeah possibly they might get you to do something like that yeah um, that's what i was thinking anyway so do you have a mental health care plan from your doctor no no never never seen doctor nothing about it nothing like that i've only just bloody googled it two minutes right. ago here we are bro <laughs> okay so the Full fee is $255. All right, fuck that. I'm going to go. $250 fucking dollars? They are scamming Mr. Thompson. How dare you? <laughs> it was uh, such good shit. <laughs> but it was so <laughs> You got trauma from babies flicking around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Thank you very much. We really are pieces of shit. <laughs> I hope the phone was on private. But we are pieces of shit that, that are, are the, the best. best. We're the best. We're, we're the, the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. Uh, it's great. We're the best, everyone. Oh. <laughs> we're the fucking best, man. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's the end of that chapter. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking good, dude. Very good.